become an usher, an usher patient for the years I cannot remember. But I could remember vividly that in 2015, I was admitted over this sickness. But to God be the glory, on 2020, 2022, one of our sisters in office invited me to the Global Crusade. But I told her I can't attend. But she said I could join online. So I subscribed to YouTube, uh, Deeper Life Christian Ministry on online. So on that very day, after Daddy Kumui ministration, during the healing prayer period, he mentioned my case that we should lay our hand wherever we have any Ill ailment. So I lay my hand over my abdomen, uh, on top of my abdomen. So he mentioned my case that usher patient should leave the patient, but I give the glory to the Almighty God. Since that night, the usher has vanished. No usher again. I cannot eat anything I, I want to eat. So I give glory to the Almighty God. Baba Kumui, God bless you for us. Amen. I transfer that miracle to you right there. Now, as he's doing it for fathers, mothers, he's doing it for even babies. And I bring a baby Moses before you now. And I want you to hear very well what is said about baby Moses, the miracle that happened, uh, just to inform you, just to confirm your own miracle night is tonight. Listen, embrace, believe, and it's yours. My name is Bukola Moses. This is my baby you're looking at. Used to cry and struggling for hours. He has a serious, serious and chronic stomach problem. But when Daddy Kumi come down to Ilongi for the global crusade, I happened to be there the first day, second day, third day I could not come because of the, the problem. The last day, which is uh, on Tuesday, I was preparing to come. This stomach problem come up again. Seriously, in fact, the illness is serious that I, no, I cannot control. I've gone for medical treatment, even people around me, my neighbors, try to bring out apps for the uh, boy to use. But this, it cannot solve the problem. But that last day, I was like, I don't know what to do. I lose control. When I got to this crusade, the baby was still crying, struggling with the, stom with the stomach. But then, when Pastor Kumui prayed, I laid my hand upon the baby's stomach and upon his head. Then... From then, we ran up the program, I go home. Since the last day of the crusade, my baby has received his healing. We are, he's, you can see that he's smiling. He's, in fact, he's joy, anything, anything. He can play to anything. He's no longer crying and cry and cry anymore since that time. He has had his victory and he, he has his testimony. You can see him playing, laughing, and in fact, the joy is there for him. Glory be to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. Crying and crying has stopped in your life. Suffering and suffering tonight has stopped in your life. I used this, I used that, I went there, I went everywhere. I couldn't get myself. You will get yourself tonight. Look at that verse I was reading because this is your verse. It is mine. It is mine. It is mine. It is mine. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily. There will be no go slow, there will be no hold up. There will be no delay. It's coming to you tonight. You will catch it in Jesus' name. 
and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy real world. Yeah. You'll possess your possession. Yeah. Salvation today. Yeah. Healing today. Yeah. And the nature of God, which is the nature of a holiness in your heart, in your life, from tonight, in Jesus' name. Speedily. Everybody shall speedily. How will your salvation come? How will your healing come? How will your deliverance come? How will holiness enter and penetrate in your life? How will your possession the children and the sons and the daughters of Jacob shall possess their possession. How will that possession come? Yeah. This is your time. Yeah. It's bowed and eyes closed. A great moment, a moment of decision in your life that this forgiveness and this salvation and this new birth will happen right now speedily. It's bowed, eyes closed. If you want this cleansing of life, cleansing of heart, and all your sins you've ever committed to be blotted out, and you want to have birth into the kingdom, into the family of God, that God will write your name in the book of life. Wherever you are, raise up your hand. God bless you there. Wonderful. God bless you there. God bless you there. As you are raising up your hand over here on the radio, on the television, online, anywhere you are, any part of the world, the Lord sees you now. And he wants you to identify yourself as you are raising up your hand. You stand up for that salvation now. Greater than certificates you've got, greater than any property you've got, greater than anything you can lay hold on as yours here on earth. So, raise up your hands and stand up and tell the Lord, Lord, I want to come into the kingdom. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Let the wicked forsake their evil ways. And let your righteous man forsake all his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. And the Lord will abundantly pardon. And the Lord will forgive and will save you. Stand up right now. You want that salvation. You want that change of life. You want that nature of God to be transferred into your life. God bless you as you are standing. I'm going to pray with you now and speedily it will happen at the name, at the mention of the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name tonight. You have said whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord will be saved and that whosoever comes to you for no reason will you cast them away. All these have come here at the Alpha location and online, and they have genuinely turned away from all the characteristics of the evil personalities, and they have come unto you. Forgive them in Jesus' name. Blot out all their transgressions in Jesus' name. Give them new life joy of salvation and the victory of salvation that in the grace of God they will go forth and live like children of God in Jesus name confirm it to Lord in every life thank you we know that speedily that forgiveness has come speedily that salvation has come let there be that joy and that confirmation of the spirit in every heart right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord, it has happened. You remain standing, our counselors are there. 
our call on our minister to help us during this uh, counseling period. After that, you'll be coming back and your health, your healing will spring forth speedily. Amen. Amen. Let our counselors please go around very quickly. Help us to write down the names of the people, fill the form. And if you know how to write yourself, write clearly. Collect the. Salvation has come to you speedily tonight. And by the grace of God, that power of that salvation is right there with you. In the presence of the Almighty God, tonight, for the decision you have taken, you are very, very important in the sight of God. Write down your names very quickly, joyfully, because you have become part of the member of the family of God. I want to say, if you are watching on online, and you just gave your life to Christ after the pastor's message this evening, we welcome you to the family of God. Visit the link showing on the screen, and then fill the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you are listening via radio or television, and you just gave your life to Christ, once again, I welcome you. Send your name, your phone number, and your location address via SMS or WhatsApp to this number. Plus, through three, four, nine, one, five, four, 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 Night two six three. I come again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Our counselors should go around. Move to the back, to the right, and to your left, and to the center. If you are raising up your hand, please, and you don't have the counselor around you, invite any one of them. There will be a special meeting. The launch hour with Jesus for all those who gave their lives to Jesus tomorrow here by 3 p.m. at the classrooms behind the congregation now. Let's fill the forms very quickly. If you are done with counseling in any of your cluster, let the supervisor please signify by raising up the flag and let's see that. And for the rest of us, we should be praying for a miracle. Tonight is your night of miracle. The power of God is going to touch and heal and deliver you. Keep praying and expecting. And your expectation shall not be cut short. There will be a special online backwest for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday, 4th September 2022. More details about this will be sent to you. And our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special backwest.
on do believers uh, back question sunday the same sunday 4th september 2022 at the deeper life bible church headquarters in Tala, and all the headquarters in all the regions and the state level all over time is 4 p.m You must not miss it. I'm waiting for the flag from our supervisors. The man of God is ready. Fill with the anointing of God to release the miracle power upon you. Just stay where you are and seek the face of the Lord. Have time to pray. Be expecting great things to come upon you tonight. If you have people that are having problems far away that are not here, you can connect with that person standing for the person where you are. And, and that miracle will touch them over there. Tonight, a testimony is attached to your life. Double testimony, triple testimony, the blind will see, the lame will walk, the deaf will hear. Spectacular miracles are coming on your way. Get ready. Get ready. The man of God is coming with anointing and power. And I want our supervisors to please raise up their flags. Our Father in the Lord is already here. You are welcome, sir. Everybody praise the Lord. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning. And thine health, my health, my healing, my deliverance, my miracle, my dominion shall spring forth speedily. No delay. As you hear the amen after the prayer, no delay. Check up yourself. Your miracle is here today. Yeah. Identify where you have the sickness, the problem, the infirmity, the disease. Lay your hand there and raise up the other hand or the confidence or the assurance. That speedily, your miracle is right there. Yeah. And after the final amen, you'll find out it has come. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, yeah. I thank you, Lord, for everyone, everyone here, everyone online, everyone over the radio, over the television, there's no blocking, there's no barrier between them and the miracle power of God. Lord, according to your promise, do it now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every form of infirmity, of sickness, of disease, everything vanish away right now in Jesus' name. From the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Internal, external, everywhere. Lord, I pray your touch, healing touch, healing virtue will come upon everyone and you perform the miracle of healing, deliverance, dominion in every life now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that mental problem instantaneously now vanish away in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be open and see clearly in Jesus' name. Goiter, hunchback, elephantiasis, ear, 
fibroid, I command, come out in Jesus' name. <laughs> Breathing problem, respiratory problem, I pray, Lord, touch them, clear their lungs of that fluid, and make them, Lord, completely whole, completely well right now in Jesus' name. so-called incurable disease ulcer cancer lung problem and the problem is the liver in the kidney the touch of the lord come upon you right now speedily speedily immediately receive your healing in jesus name Pile an issue of blood either from the anus of blood from the mouth of blood from the nose of blood from anyone dry up now in jesus name but i pray that those who have deafness dumpness touch them now you are the creator of all people and you can do it with your miracle creative power lord i pray open their ears open and loose their tongues set them free in jesus name and also a problem with motion problem with standing problem with walking arthritis and uh, and the stroke and paralysis lameness whatever broken bones lord Touch them now, heal them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that everywhere in front of me, everyone without exception, everyone online, everyone everywhere, your healing, your deliverance, your health spring forth speedily right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I know at the mention of the name of Jesus, it is done. The healing has come. The deliverance has come. The miracle has come. Lord, confirm it for everyone. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put your hands together for Christ. Put your hands together for Christ. Your miracle is there already. Check it out. It's time for you to triumph. Tonight is a night of triumphing over all the problems that have been covered in prayer. Check it up. Joy, joy, joy. Every angle in everywhere. Check it up. Your miracle is already there. Tonight is a night of triumphing over all the problems you have brought to this place. You will not go back home with your problem. I will not go back with any problem. I am free. I am healed. I am delivered. Put your faith into action and come out now and come and give your testimony. Tonight is your night of testimony. Ushers, counselors, Please go around and shake the people. The miracle of God is there with you. The hand of God is working upon your life already. Come out. Come out. It's time for us to rejoice. We shall be listening to the testimonies right now. And in Alpha location here, you are coming out to give your own testimony. Shake it off. Put your faith into action. You cannot see before. Open your eyes and start to see. You cannot walk before, rise up and walk. Whatever may be the paralysis, whatever may be the gutter is gone. The swollen things in your body, they are gone already. They are no more there. Shake it off. You will not see it anymore. And come out and give your testimony. Ushers, workers, please go around and shake the people. Your testimony is there with you already. It's a night of rejoicing. Because the hand of God, the power of God has reached you already. And that speedily, immediately, without any delay. Shake it off. Shake it off. 
Your time to triumph has come. Check your body. Before we listen to testimonies from the Alpha location, we'll be listening to testimony from online. We are beautiful testimonies online. We now go to Porter Court live. Online. Praise the Lord. My name is Omoro Rukeme Onoyake. I'm here to thank God for what he did for me during the global crusade. My baby is one year, eight months now, but when he was just three months old, we discovered he couldn't defecate. We tried all means possible, including anal tablets, pumps, fruits, vegetables, liquid food, and everything, even herbs, but to no avail. My baby would cry out in pain, and when it finally came out, it would be hard and black or green in color with blood stain in it. So we went to several hospitals, and then they ran a test. The surgeon said that he has a Hirschsprung disease, that his intestine is not well distended into his anus, and a nerve cell was missing. So they said they would do a two-procedure operation for him, and the intestine will first be drained before the main yes, operation. Is the this is the result that... So after that, we went to the global, global crusade, and the man of God said, I should place my hands, which I did. And I said the final amen after placing my hands on my son's stomach. And before I could even take my seat, I perceived the stench of my son's poo. <laughs> so um, since then, my son has been defecating on his own without any aid or any problems at all. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. My name is Peace Bobara from Portacot River State, Nigeria. I want to testify to the glory of God. What God did for me during the total emancipation crusade. He holds that when a man engaged me, after the engagement that night, I dream. A little boy came in my dream and took away the ring and said, this hand will not wear ring. So from that day, dream start. I've been dreaming, swimming, eating in the dream, even sometimes. When after eating, if I wake up, I will vomit blood. I will wake up, different sickness. See, I went to so many churches. They do assignments for me. Some ask me, so after the, after the, the eating in the dream, I should drink urine. I've been drinking urine after eating in the dream. Sometimes they will molest me in the dream. Sometimes I will see myself in my village. Sometimes I see myself in the forest. Sometimes I see dead people in my dream. Sometimes, guys, I can't sleep. So, during the uh, uh, emancipation crusade, I was going to buy something when the uh, uh, pastor wife stopped me to just spend seat for five minutes, and I obey him, her, and sit. And the man of God, during the prayer, the man of God asked us to place our hand where our problem is, and I placed my hand on my forehead. After the prayer, I went home, and that night, I would sleep like a baby, no dream, no molesting, no eating in the dream. I return all glory to Almighty God in Jesus' name. Yes, all glory return to God as we take you to Calabar for another wonderful testimony of what the Lord has done. Praise the Lord. My name is Opleku David Idoko from uh, Deeper Life Campus Fellowship, Malabo, Calabar region. 
I'm here to testify to the goodness of God in my life. Uh, way back in May, I was critically ill and uh, I wasn't myself. So I had to go to the hospital and then I met a doctor. She prescribed uh, some uh, test for me. And then I went for the test, went back to meet her and she told me I had hepatitis B. I was totally demoralized hearing that. Uh, so I, I asked her, how is this sickness? She said, it's like uh, HIV. I have to live with it. That almost killed me. So I had to go home and then uh, uh, back to June, the June edition of GCK, I had to go to church. I was taken to church and then during the man of God's prayer, I raised my hand. And then after the prayer, I felt change. Uh, and then uh, getting home, I, I discovered I was getting fine. Clothes that were not sizing me when I was sick started sizing me. I didn't even know where my belt was again. So uh, I had to go back to the hospital, discovering the change to confirm if uh, the sickness is still there or not. So getting to the hospital, I went through the same series of tests. And then the result came out. The doctor brought out an uh, injection, wanting to inject me. So I asked, I said, what is this? He said that uh, it's a vaccine for hepatitis B. I said I had hepatitis B. He said, yes, that you no longer have it. I was shocked. I want to, that's why I'm here to testify. I want to thank God for GCK. Uh, I want to thank God also for Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuye. And I pray that God will keep him. And continue to use him to do great things and bless life. Praise the Lord. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Brother Osuloi from Chibuzo. I'm a core member serving here in Calabar. I joined the Deeper Life Church in the orientation camp. That's at Obubra. Since then, my Christian life has been going awesome. I want to thank God for that. Um, I actually want to thank God. The main thing why I came here to testify is because of a problem I've been having since I was much younger, when I was very tender. That's my left nail here. My nail has been paining me. I don't stress myself. If I stress myself, if I walk a distance, my nail will be paining me intensely, so highly, severely. Um, during the A Million Man March, I joined it. Before I could get to 11-11 where we conveyed, I was seriously having a sharp pain there. It's a normal thing. I met the doctor. The doctor actually advised me that I should relieve myself from stress. I should not walk a distance. Sorry to say this. Most times the doctors, they don't give us hope. But thank God for the God of Dr. W.F. Kumui. Thank God for this program, Total Emancipation. The Lord visited me. This program was actually because of me. When the man of God was true with his ministration, he said something. Lay one hand in any place you have problem and raise the other hand. I did exactly as the man of God instructed. And after the, the prayers, I felt relief. But within me, I was feeling like maybe it's just a normal relief. Let me just give myself a test, a trial. And the next day, I walked a distance. I never felt the sharp pains. The pain was not there. The next day, I said, okay, let me just walk out. Let me run. Let me run a distance. All these things, I don't do them. Like, I don't play football because of the leg. If I try it, I'll be having a sharp pain. I did all these things. This first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day. I said, indeed, God has healed me. I said, may the God of WF Kumuyi be highly exalted. I pray, let Baba Kumuyi never stop this program. Let this program go from high to high, touch all the globe because he's doing great, greatly in this, in this global program. Let his name be highly glorified once more in Jesus' name. It is great. And now we'll take you quickly to the social media. We go to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia where Abate Boyeho has this testimony.
Abate is testifying of how the Lord God healed his mother and his father. According to his writing, his parents, 92 and 71 years old respectively, were having issues. The father had two bended fingers that was not straightened for 18 years, while his mother had a big goiter on her neck. He was a bit worried that they haven't received their miracle despite attending the program for so long a time. But after the service, after the program, on the first day of the crusade, he received the call that the two problems had disappeared that same night, right after the prayer of the man of God. Mind you, they listened via a radio transmission, and right there, they got their miracle. Our team confirmed from the pastor in Ethiopia that this miracle brought joy to the entire family. And now, we'll take you to northern Nigeria, Sokoto State, Sokoto Live. Praise the Lord. My name is Obian Uju Aneke from, from Assemblies of God, Sabumbrini, Sokoto State, Nigeria. I'm here this afternoon to, to give God the glory for the healing he gave unto me. When this program come up last month, that was June, one of the, one of the palace members gave me the, my neighbor, they gave me the ambi. Before the man of God still came, I said I will not miss it this month. For the past month I have missed it, but this month I will not miss it. So when I came to the program, and when the program starts, when the man of God wants to pray, he asks everybody to hold that place that you know that you are having a problem. So I hold my chest. Because that chest for past, I cannot, I don't, it's more than three, four years. I cannot trek, I cannot move from here to every time I'm on top machine or motor. Even when I visit my children, they, even they took me to hospital there for no event. Even here in Sabombrini, I've been buying drugs. No event, none of them is working. I will still be feeling that pain. But when that program was going on, going on now, small time, I saw, I saw my chest. It's like my chest wants to come out. Well, I said, ah, I hold that chest and I was still praying, you No, know. I was still praying, but that chest is still disturbing me. Before the program stopped and the chest stopped, so when I went back home, I said, let me try it. So I trek from my shop to house, and I not feel that pain again. The next day, too, I still try it. I not feel that pain again. The second one is this, my knees. In the night, from my knee to the head toe, I will not sleep. My leg will be paining me. They say it's a rheumatism. But when we say pour water, I will spend like one hour, 30 minutes every night. So the second program too, the second day, so I still hold down my leg. All my prayer was this leg. I, pulled, I was holding this my leg, praying, praying. So after the program, now I reached out that night. I don't feel anything. Even since that day, since that night, even my husband was asking me, ah, say, ah, now what happened to the leg? You are not feeling the gabi. I went to hospital so good. I said, no. I said, since that program I went in deeper life, I said, I have not feel, uh, since that day, that leg, everything stopped. Even that my chest, everything stopped. I'm not feeling anything again. May God receive the glory and honor in the name of Jesus. And now we return to the coordinating overseer for Alpha Location Testimonies. Praise the Lord. We're expecting you to stick come out and give your testimony tonight. Don't hide it. The great thing the Lord has done in your life. Come out and share your testimony. Let's listen to the orchestra.
Praise the Lord. Um, Dr. Kyle Diabe, and tonight we want to declare and celebrate with our people what the Lord has done in their lives. I have with me here Mrs. Temida Yoribeka from Akure. She had a swollen right foot that she couldn't walk with it for about two and a half years. She had surgery in the leg and other, took other treatments, but the pain persisted. But praise be to the Lord, she received her healing on Thursday, and she's here to share her testimony. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. Essentials <laughs> On she operation and say for me, but the patient room is itony. But some of my patients and imagine, no more equal to put us in the land that leg gas and again another place. More equal, or two person need do me, or more equal for no do more be bloody. She will do it. More equal me, if you mean the robot, I give you, but I think who will let it by it. More up your bones, you can go around your mouth, you know, shame less than that by it, you know. I say, and then do me by my mouth of one man. She won't get him more, repay, oh, to one, but well, I mean, Mommy, me, I'll suffer me pay, only keep my set, and you come on, I saw the egg by that, you know, for me. One, one, never pay, but I come in, bonny, I correct, most of the women, what I like, my essay, and what bring me what? One, one more picture, but I'm being a tough one, more, yeah, picture, but I'm bed. Timati wa fi o kuta jo ni ale ma fi e posti ma fi an bi baba ye ma fi le le oju pe mo gudo ri temi se ninu program yen timati le wa mo mu wa dupe ni owo olorun te pe mi gba ta won fi se ojo tonse yen mi le dide duro mo ma joko ni church gan odo wa gan mo ma joko ni mi ki n dide mo le dide die gan ese yan ma do mi a ma ta mi a ma ge mi je ninu sugbon mo dupe lowo olorun gbe te baba pray tan ese yen o ni le ti mo fi rin mi le fi rin laye pe mo wo bata Praise the Lord. Amen. We listen to the next testifier. We thank the Lord for the wonderful manifestation of the power of God in the life of our sister. She has testified of the painful swelling, uh, the swollen right foot that the Almighty God received the, uh, removed the problem on Thursday when she came for the global crusade. The Lord taught her and she can now use her, her foot without uh, pain again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beside me is Meyaki Miracle from Akure, a 12 year old young lad. He had a problem of itching eyes and skin for about two months, allergic conjunctivitis, and, by, and today he is a recipient of the miracle of the, the Lord. Yesterday he was taught by God and he uh, is here to share his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Mayaki Miracle. I have been having this pain of this problem of eating eye and skin. I used drugs. It, it did not go. But after the man of God prayer yesterday, I just decided to shake it. I just I just discovered that it has vanished. Praise the Lord. Shake it up, shake yourself. Your own miracle is there. The next testifier.
the brother beside me is Branch Clinton from Futa. He had problem with his eyes. He couldn't read without glasses. He couldn't read clearly without glasses, but the Lord has taught him. He was ill or backache also, which before uh, was a problem to him, but the Lord has given him solution to his problem, eye problem gone. He can now read without glasses, and then the Lord has healed his back. Let's listen to his testimony. Praise God. Um, about two years ago now, um, I had an issue with my eyes, and we discovered that Sometimes it will be as if waters will start coming out, and I've been subjected to using of glasses, especially wide one, in order to prevent too much of air entering into the eyes. And this causes me walk with glass every time, and even to read becomes so much difficult. But thank God for the prayer of the man of God yesterday. Um, I intentionally don't come to the Kuse ground with the glasses, thinking that as much as I see Baba, yesterday I have to come and sit at the front that as I'm seeing Baba yesterday, these eyes will be gone. And although when I left the Kuse ground yesterday, I was just, the eyes was, it was still like that. But when I woke up this morning, I began to feel some pain from the eyes. So that was what got me up this morning. And as I was inching, I see that in some few minutes, the thing went off. And I was like, ah, could it be this thing? And when I took my Bible, I saw that I could see clearly. And now I'm opening the eyes and nothing like that is happening. And again, when I woke up this morning, I saw that I, I felt some kind of pain, like some kind of rashes at the back of my, at, at, the, at my back actually. And I saw some people and they were like, maybe because of the change of water and the environment. So, and whenever I hold the back like this, I will be feeling the pain as if something is biting me at the back. I have to go and bait and over bait, but yet it's not going. And, but after the prayer of the man of God, this night, it was instant. It was so shocking that I don't understand. Now I can press it and nothing like that is happening. The pain has gone. Praise God and I appreciate God. Thank you, Pastor Kumui. Your miracle is still there. Shake it off and come out and testify you know, to the power of God. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Beside me is Brother Kimi Yomu Rufus from Mundo region. His problem was that of excruciating pain at the right molar teeth, and which means inflammation of the gum, gingivitis. He has received the miraculous touch of God and is here to testify to the goodness of God. Let's hear your testimony. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Akiru Jomu Rufus. We had a crusade about probably five or six months ago, tagged uh, the divine touch. So as the message was going on, the man of God, Pastor W.F. Kumuyi, said something. He said, the little touch of God you experience. He said, as you are experiencing that little touch, he said, the miracle has happened. But before that time, uh, with this, my molar tooth here, this right side, I couldn't eat with it. If I'm eating rice, if a grain enters into that hole, it was an excruciating pain. So that one resulted to me using one side of my uh, jaw for eating. But after even the man of God had not even prayed. As the message was going on, I experienced the Spirit of God in a soft manner. And that was the end of the excruciating pain. Everything is gone. And since that about five or six months ago till now, I can even I can use the, the, that side to crush chicken bones. Praise the Lord. 
Amen. We listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord. We have in front of us Ruben E. G. Paul from Owena, a person who has been dumb from birth, couldn't express himself, but the Lord has done the, one, the miraculous for him. The Lord has taught him. We want to listen to his testimony. Praise the Lord. He's my brother. I personally brought him. He's worshiping with Assemblies of God Church, but we are from Owena region, under uh, Ondo State, Nigeria. This, my brother is about 40 years of age now. He, cannot, he can hear, but he cannot speak to express himself previously. But yesterday night, when we were there, down there in the Alpha location, he can speak unto us after the prayer from the man of God. Secondly, he had a wither hand from about three months after his bed. The hand, left hand was withered. He cannot be able to raise it up. But the pain was so excruciative last week. But last night, he can be able to raise up the hand. He can raise it up now. We test him to speak. Raise up the hand. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Jump your hands together for Christ. Amen. He cannot do all this before. He cannot raise up his hand before. He cannot say praise the Lord loudly like that before. So, brethren, praise the Lord. The Hallelujah. Lord, the Lord have done it for him, and the Lord will do yours also in Jesus' name. Before us is Shemilo Ria Jai from Akure South, from Akure South in Akure region, Uriyo Taubele Group. Our problem was that of uh, having pain in her hand, but the Lord healed her on Thursday. Let's listen to her. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> this is my sister, Ajakaye Shemilo When she came here on Tuesday, she had a problem in her hand. And she said she couldn't lift her hand, and it was very, and it was feeling her really, really much. <clears throat> but on Thursday, when the man of God prayed, in, and after the last amen, she couldn't feel the pain anymore, and she can raise her hand without any pain. Praise the Lord! So let us shout hallelujah with the hand and raise it up, and praise the Lord with it. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Put your hands together for Christ. Amen. Thank you. 
now go on online testimonies. Let's listen. The power of God online is indeed amazing. Hear some testimonies on the social media. Right from the social media, we have this coming from Manchester, Francis Watgan, who is right, who wrote, I was healed from severe waist pain. After the final prayers tonight, this pain has persisted despite medications. But after the prayer tonight, the symptoms and everything gone, I have received my healing. And also, we bring this to you from YouTube as well. Yeah, CEO wrote, my daughter has been delivered from evil spirits and all the torment she's been facing before now. She is completely delivered. She is completely healed. Multiple testimonies on the GS Facebook page. Also, the power of God taking pains away and curing sicknesses. We'll take you to Edo now for a live testimony. Edo Live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise the Lord. My name is James Eba. Upper the region, Edo State. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. It happened last year, October 2021. I was having stomach pain. I went for tests, and the doctor tested me, and the result came out that I have appendicitis. And he placed me on treatment for five days. He told me that after the five days, if the appendix is there, that he will carry out the operation for me immediately. But uh, during Taraba Crusade, total liberation, I was praying to God that I don't want to do it operation, that God that did it for Adam without knowing to anybody that that same God should do it for me. It was on the third day of the global crusade that our Father in the Lord said we should lay our hand where we have a problem. I lay my left hand on my stomach. I raise up my right hand. After the final amen, I got my miracle. But there in my location, on the, uh, in the altar, I had a voice that, when are you going to know that the appendix is no longer there? Praise the Lord. Amen. Then after the global crusade, I went to that same doctor. He tested me. And he confirmed that appendix was nowhere to be found. Even last month, me and my wife, she went to that same person. He tested me and he said, brother, I told you that appendix is no longer there. That is the reason why I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. Praise the Lord! Appendix disappeared. And we bring you some more from the social media. And from the social media, we we'll bring you this from Suleiman Ibrahim, who wrote, Praise the Lord, by God's grace and mercy, I couldn't walk for some, for some time. I tried, I took medications, but all to no avail. But as I attended the crusade, and after the prayer of the man of God, my legs received strength. I rose up, and now I can walk. Also, we have these from Isaac Abraham from YouTube who wrote, Praise the Lord, I am healed. I've had this sharp pain in the left part of my head for some time now and has defied medication. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, I got my healing. The sharp pain in the left part of my head went away and now I am healed. This one is also coming from YouTube. Nati wrote, Praise the Lord, I am healed. I was feeling cold and feverish for the past one week. But after the prayers of the man of God tonight, at the mention of the final amen, I began to sweat profusely like never before. And shortly after that, I received my healing. All cold and feverish feeling disappeared. I am healed. And that's the power of God as we now return you to the moderating overseer. Praise the Lord. Let's listen to the orchestras. <laughs> 